The INVIC tests are a set of four biochemical tests used to differentiate and identify members of the Enterobacteria C family, particularly coliforms, and other closely related bacteria. The tests are named after the initials of the four tests, where I stands for indole test, M stands for methyl red test, V stands for Voges Proskauer test, and C stands for sit rate utilization test. The small i does not represent any kind of test. It is given only for the comfort of pronunciation. The purpose of these tests is to study the biochemical properties of unknown bacteria and characterize them. Let us see how to perform these tests. In order to perform INVIC tests, inoculate the bacterial culture in a suitable medium and grow at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. This is going to be our sample for INVIC tests. Let us see how to perform the INDOL test and its principle. The purpose of the INDOL test is to detect the ability of bacteria to produce INDOL from the amino acid tryptophan. To perform this test, take a test tube containing tryptophan broth or sulfide indole motility medium. Inoculate the tube with a loop full of sample, which is our bacterial culture. Incubate the tube for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. After the incubation period, take out the tube and add a few drops of Covix reagent. Covix reagent consists of paradimethylaminobenzaldehyde and HCl. If the bacteria is able to produce tryptophanase enzyme, it will degrade the tryptophan and produce indole, pyruvic acid, and ammonium. Then, the presence of indole in the tube can be detected by Covix reagent. The reaction of indole with the aldehyde group of Covix reagent will give a red color. The positive result will be indicated by the formation of a red color at the top of the tube. If there is no such color formation, consider the test negative. The purpose of the methyl red test is to determine the ability of bacteria to produce and maintain stable acids from glucose fermentation. To perform this test, take a test tube containing glucose phosphate broth or MRVP medium. Inoculate the tube with a loop full of sample and incubate for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. After the incubation period, add a few drops of methyl red indicator. If the bacteria in our sample is able to produce and maintain large amounts of stable acids from glucose fermentation, the pH of the medium will be reduced. The reduction in the pH due to the acid production will be indicated by the methyl red indicator, which will turn the medium into a red color. Therefore, the test is considered positive if a red color forms after the addition of methyl red indicator. A negative test will be indicated by a yellow color. The purpose of the Voges Proskauer test is to determine the ability of bacteria to produce acetoin, which is an intermediate product in the butylene glycol pathway. Acetoin is also known as acetylmethylcarbinol. To perform this test, take a test tube containing glucose phosphate broth or MRVP medium. Inoculate the tube with a loop full of sample and incubate for 48 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. After the incubation period, add a few drops of alphanafol and potassium hydroxide to the media. Wait for 15 to 30 minutes. A positive test will be indicated by the formation of a red color, and if there is no change in color, consider the test negative. Certain bacteria will ferment glucose to pyruvate and then produce acetoin and carbon dioxide through the butylene glycol pathway. If the bacteria is able to produce acetoin, it will react with potassium hydroxide 
to produce diacetyl in the presence of oxygen. The diacetyl then reacts with guanidine components of peptone in the presence of alpha naphthol. This reaction will be indicated by the formation of a pinkish red color. The purpose of the citrate utilization test is to determine the ability of bacteria to utilize citrate as the sole carbon source. Not all bacteria are capable of utilizing citrate as the carbon source. Only those bacteria that produce citrate permease enzymes are able to utilize citrate from the surrounding environment. To perform this test, take a test tube containing Simmons citrate agar slant. Pick a loop full of culture and streak on the agar slant. Incubate for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius and observe for color change. A positive test will be indicated by the change in color of the medium from green to blue. The utilization of citrate in the media involves citrate permease enzyme, which breaks down citrate into oxaloacetic acid and acetic acid. The oxaloacetic acid further breaks down into pyruvic acid and carbon dioxide. The released carbon dioxide will then combine with H2O and excess sodium to form sodium carbonate. Additionally, the ammonium salts in the medium will be decreased to ammonium hydroxide. The combined effect of sodium carbonate and ammonium hydroxide will increase the pH of the medium. As a result, the bromothiamol blue indicator of simon citrate medium will turn the medium to blue color. These are the Invict test results of some known bacteria.